Good guys, my name is Blood Spool. Welcome back again to another reaction video. Dr. Zakir is answering if a Muslim lady can she give a public talk if she's wearing a hijab. Hijab, 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 hijab. I think I'm gonna make a series. I'm gonna keep quiet about this one. I don't wanna reveal too much. You will see, guys. You will see. Let's get to it, guys. You will see. So I'll surprise you guys. This is Haifa and I'm a business student. My question is, is it permissible for a Muslim lady to make public talks for dawah if she wears hijab? If no, what are the other options? Thank you. Sister asked a question that is permissible for a Muslim woman to give dawah in public talks with wearing hijab. As far as giving public talks in front of ladies only, no problem. My wife, mashallah, she's a day. She has given lectures in hundreds and thousands of ladies in many parts of the world. In Saudi Arabia, she has given talks in Dubai, in USA, in Canada, in many countries. So if a lady gives a talk in public in where there is only ladies, no problem. As far as a lady giving public talk in mixed gathering, there are different opinions. Okay. Different opinions. Though there are some scholars who say that fine, a lady can come on the stage, like on this stage in a mixed gathering. But those scholars who are more close to the Quran and Sunnah, they say a lady cannot give talk in mixed gathering. And I agree with the second group of scholars. Why? Because the Quran says in Surah Nur, chapter number 24, verse number 30, say to the believing man that he should lower his gaze and guard his modesty. Whenever a man looks at a woman, any brazen thought comes in his mind, he should lower his gaze. So if a woman is giving a talk in public, and if the men are watching, they should lower the gaze. If someone tells me, I look at a woman and nothing happens to him, then he requires a psychiatrist. <laughs> oh, I get it. I get it. If a man is giving a lecture, there are women looking at me. The next verse, the verse I quoted was Surah Nur, chapter 24, number 30. I get it. The believing man, you should lower his gaze and guard his modesty. Next verse, Surah Nur, chapter 24, verse number 31 says, Say to the believing woman, that she should lower again and guard her modesty, same thing. But today scientific research tells me that when a man looks at a woman, his pupil dilates more as compared to a woman when she looks at a man. Wow! A man is sexually more aroused when he looks at a woman than a woman when he looks at a man. That's the reason today in schools which are single-sex, the results are better. I believe it that. It is better for a man teaching mixed gathering it's preferable for a man teaching a woman, a man teacher teaching a woman audience than a woman teacher teaching a woman audience. Scientific research. In spite of that, if any woman looking at a die, including me, if some unashamed thought comes, even should lower your gaze. But a woman is less excited as compared to a man. I... That very then I agree with the second group of scholars who say for women to give lectures in mixed gatherings, it's not permissible. That's the reason on our Peach TV, when we show a lady, we don't show more than three seconds. I mean, there's no fish, the Hadith and Quran, why three seconds, why not two, why not five? It is our ishtihad. Even though they're modestly dressed, maximum we show it for three seconds, so that oh, wow. it does not let the gents get excited. So, sister, I agree with the second group of scholars. How should they do dawa? It is not compulsory for a man or woman to come on the stage to dawa. Sister, you can do dawa on the internet, you can do email, you can do dawa writing books, no problem. While doing dawa, preferable man just to a man, woman to a woman, male to male, female to female. In some countries I go, a man, a Muslim guy, talking to a non-Muslim girl in close doors, doing dawa. Her beloved Prophet Muhammad said, Na a man and a woman are alone in a closed room, the third person is the devil. Even I cannot do dawah to a woman one to one, no. Mm. We have our dawah center in IRF, Islamic Research Foundation. We have a gents wing doing one to one dawah to gents, Ooh. ladies one to one ladies. If there is some great problem where a lady cannot be convinced, and if I have to speak to a lady, it is with my mehram. Either my wife is there with me, or my sister is with me, or that lady's husband is there, or brother is there. With lowering the case. This is Islam. I love Islam, man. So we should follow the rules and regulations. Do dawah, but within the purview of the Islamic Sharia. The woman 
we have got great scope. In Bombay, the women do one-to-one -one dawa more than the gents. In our Bombay branch, there are more ladies accepting Islam than the gents. So, mashallah, in IRF, mashallah, there are so many sessions. They have marriage preparatory calls, they have Ramadan month, they have the Quran family, so many sessions they have. One day workshop, three day workshop, one week workshop. They have lectures and hundreds and thousands of ladies attend. Mashallah. But it should be female with female and gents with gents. Hope that answers the question. Wow. That is also one thing that I like about the religion of Islam. Like, the amount of respect they have for their women and their sisters and females in general. I feel like they've got a huge amount of respect. I feel like I've seen like in videos and I really, I really like that because even now I was watching this video and he said that three seconds showing a video in the Peace TV. And I was actually counting the number of seconds they were showing that other lady who was asking the question. And it was maybe three or four seconds or less, you know? That is a thumbs up. Like, I also agree with what he's saying, you know? I think, yeah, that is good. That is very good. That's a very good question. I like it. What do you guys think? I don't want to ask too many questions, like, you know? Like, you know? But that's why we're here, man. We're here to learn and we're here to just ask questions and curiosity. <laughs> that's why we're here. And we're exploring, you know? So yeah, man, I believe in what he's saying. I think it makes sense. Even the fact that he actually puts that science backs it up. So yeah, I love it. What do you guys think? Tell me down below. I agree with him. 100% agree with him. Guys, thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. For those who are new, hope this video had a message for you. Yes, have a positive mind. Stay positive, do good, and always be and always be mindful and take care of yourself at all times. I'll see you guys next time. Peace!